hi guys and welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by so this video is my review of the february ipsy glam bag but i decided to do it differently by actually using the products in the video because most of the products that i got was makeup related so i figured why not do a demo instead of just talking about it i can actually use them and you guys can see it live and direct as you guys can see my face is completely done i've done everything except my lips and my eyes because the products that i got in my ipsy glam or eye makeup and lip stuff and a nail polish. So this month's Ipsy Glam Bag looks like this. It's denim with orange detail. I really like the pop of orange on it and then the inside that carries through with the orange. It came of course with a little card and it says hashtag Ipsy much love. The bag has additional stuff and the Ipsy creative at the bottom. I have already primed and set my eyes, so I'm just gonna jump into the eye look. But first, I'm gonna prime my lips because one of the things I got in the Ipsy Glam Bag this month is called Zen Effect. It's an anti-aging lip treatment. The claim for this is that this deeply hydrating lip treatment reduces and prevents the appearance of vertical lines while it softens and plumps revealing a rosy glow to use smooth onto and around lips as daily as needed. Right now my lips are literally cracking. I'm gonna use it to prep my lips for later down the road. So it comes out and it's a white creamy substance. It's almost like a lotion type feel. It has a slight smell to it, a kind of sweetish smell, but not, nothing overpowering or anything like that. like a typical lip balm or lip cream. It has a nice little taste to it, it's like a fruity type taste. I'm gonna start off doing my eyes. I'm gonna use two of the products that I got. One is from the brand Mars. that on the eyes and I'll also be using this eyeliner pencil by Lord and Berry and it's in the shade travel black I look very simple because I just only want to demonstrate the product like hopefully I stay simple sometimes doing your makeup you decide you're gonna do a simple look and a simple look turn into this glitter smoky eye kind of concoction first I'm gonna go into my morphe 35 o palette I'm gonna mix both of these shades and I'm just gonna apply this in my transitional crease area and I'm using this Sedona lace EB 15 brush to do this I'm just packing it on on the outer V and then sweeping More of a rounded type look packing a bit more onto the middle part okay so now that we have that little bit of color on the eyes I'm gonna go into or eyeshadow that came in the Ipsy Glam Bag by Mars in the shade Your Toast. So first, I'm gonna apply it with my dry brush and this is from Sigma, it's the E55 eye shading brush. So I'm gonna apply it dry first and then I'm gonna wet my brush so you guys can see the difference between the pigments in its dry stage and then in its more wet stage. So I put some in the cap and I'm just gonna tap my brush into, into it. I hope there's no fallout. Maybe I should um, put some loose powder under. Just in case of any fallout, I'm just gonna take some of my Laura Mercier powder and just put it under my eye. So I put the product on the brush and just tap off the excess. It picks up on the brush pretty well. And then I'm just gonna tap it on my eyelids. Wow, can you guys see that? Like, look at that, and there's no fallout. There's no fallout. Wow. This is very pigmented, and I can only imagine how much more blinding it's gonna be when I actually wet my brush. 
I don't even know if the camera is picking it up as much as it is so intense. Yellow undertone, which I prefer that with my gold shadows, and there's no fallout. I really like it, and the fact that I didn't have to wet my brush is a very big plus. Look, it just it's like look at oh my god, it's like butter. Wow, it has like a foiled effect on the eyes. Really like this pigment. I already see that it's bomb, but I'm just gonna show you guys in the white stage how it will look. So I'm just gonna spray the same brush that I was using with my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set Spray. Just gonna spray a little bit and pick up some more of that pigment and apply it over there just to see how much more like crazy beautiful this thing will look. it goes a long way I'm just going using that same brush that I used before just to blend the edge I'm really really impressed with this shadow it going with the Lord and Berry eyeliner in the shade travel back black travel black and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna run this along my lash line up top and in my oh my gosh what's the name of that my inner rims up top and I'm gonna see how soft it is because sometimes pencils can be very rough on the eye and I don't like that because you have to really tug and pull on your eyes and that causes wrinkles and just irritation to the eyes. Hopefully it is a nice soft pencil. Wow, like I'm, I barely touched my eyes and it just glided on. It's very rich, it's very pigmented, and it glides on so smoothly. I'm gonna take the Sigma E30 pencil brush and try and smudge it out to see how it smudges. Hopefully it doesn't dry too quickly. It smudges out really easily too. Very impressed. the smudging you're not losing a lot of the pigmentation of the black which is perfect I'm just gonna carry out a little bit to almost create like a wing effect without necessarily being like a structured wing it blends really well it's nice and soft it does the job I really like it but as you guys see, even though I've blended out, you can still see the pigmentation in the black. So we're just gonna do the other eye. A little bit of the eyeshadow just to clean up the little mistake that I made over here but easy these products are like I think February might be my most favorite glam bag ipsy glam bag so far apply some mascara and this is by Too Faced they're better than sex mascara this had come in an ipsy glam bag that I had before For this look today, I'm not gonna do lashes. I'm just gonna apply like another coat or so. To okay, so I'm just gonna sweep away the excess powder that I didn't need, but it's best to be prepared than not prepared. I'm just gonna take two orange, burnt orange that I put in my crease. I'm just gonna take some more of that and run it under the eyes. I'm gonna run it in 
the waterline. That was just one swipe. Look how black and pigmented that thing is. So gentle on my eyes. Freaking gentle. I really love this eye liner. This shadow, this eyeliner, I'm loving it. Loving it. Okay, I think the eyes are pretty much done. So simple. I'm just gonna apply some more mascara onto my bottom lashes. Marsk mineral eyeshadow and just pop that in the inner tear duct just to brighten it up a bit. This thing is very pigmented. Very pigmented. Yeah, baby. Alright, so now that we're finished with the eyes, we're gonna move into another lip product that I got in my glam bag, and it is by NYX. It's their butter lipstick shade right berry so I've never used NYX butter lipsticks before I've used their lip cream their lingerie their lip pencil so I'm interested to see how pigmented how creamy it is but first I'll give you an update so I applied this the Ven effect anti-aging lip cream at the beginning of the video my lips does does feel a bit more hydrated there is no plumpness to my lips as it says but it does feel hydrated enough because like the center of my lip was cracking and kind of hurt but it, it's it's help with that so i will say in that way it works so i'm gonna take this um mac lip liner lip pencil in the shade chestnut to line my lips I'm gonna go in and fill my lips in. Oh, I understand why it says it's butter. It really glides on very nice and soft. This color, it would be perfect for like an everyday color. Wow. It's very moisturizing, like... <laughs> I don't know if it's because I have the lip cream on and then putting this on top, but it is so moisturizing, like it glides on easily. I find that it's pigmented enough. I love the color. This is like a perfect everyday type color. It's really nice and very hydrating, which I really love. So I really like this. What I'm gonna do again with the eyeshadow I'm gonna use it on my cupid's bow to just see how it works as a highlighter I like it as a highlighter it's very subtle yeah I guess I should just carry it through and just add it on top of what I already have as highlighter on my face Okay, yep, so we're pretty much finished with the whole face look. The nail product that I got this month, and it's also from Trust Fund Beauty. I got one from them last month, shade $12 Latte. My nails are already, has a base coat on it, and I'm applying one coat of it. And as you guys can see, it, just the one coat was sufficient. Like, it's really a rich color very pigmented and very opaque uh, but i like to put an extra coat of nail polish so that's what i'm doing now nails are all dry face is all done so if you liked this video and like would like me to do more reviews like this for you don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're not yet subscribed hit that subscribe button below share it with a friend and until next time stay beautiful Mwah.